in Chemistry 101, I talked about how atoms are generally unhappy in the world, and um, their their num their protons or their plus sides in the nucleus in the middle um, don't exactly line up with these noble gases. They everyone strives to be similar to one of these noble gases. These gases or these atoms were not found in history because they didn't react with anyone. They're the only ones that are truly happy. In fact, argon is used in fire suppression because it doesn't react in a fire, reacts with nothing, and it puts the fire out because it starves the oxygen. So we're going to have reactions that want to be like these guys. That's the foundation of chemistry. And our first reaction is about uh, is natural gas because what we're going to do here is we are going to find out how much heat is generated in a methane reaction like natural gas versus a coal reaction. Now this reaction, first thing we have to do is talk about this this thing I've just drawn here because we haven't we haven't talked about chemistry yet. But this is these are the inputs to the reaction and then these are the outputs. So we're gonna go from here, we're gonna burn because there's here's oxygen, which is in air and we're going to create carbon dioxide in water. Now, this reaction puts out heat, and don't worry about the units, but it puts out 800 heats. And um, we have to balance this equation, so we have to make sure that the carbons, all these, every atom on this side has to have the same number of atoms on this side. So one carbon and one carbon. Now we got these four H's, and we know that two, two times two is four, and then we have four oxygens, in which we have two here, and then two times two oxygens here. This is a balanced equation that puts out 800 units of heat. Now the thing that's going to be important about natural gas is that it has a lot of hydrogens. That's the key to why coal, they say coal is dirty, is that it is only really made up of carbons. So when it burns, it only produces CO2, whereas when methane burns, it produces CO2 in water. And that that CO that it that high that water reaction is here. These are two equations that I looked up and found the heats of reaction. So when you have hydrogen burning with oxygen, it's putting out 500 and 70 units of heat. So just to give this an idea <coughs> of this reaction, the water reaction is a huge component of a methane reaction. This, these hydrogens, look at the heat that that's putting out. Now, this isn't exact because the, this is hydrogen completely ready to go, whereas in this one, the hydrogens are bonded to the carbon and they do have to get free. There is a, the carbon is holding them. So they do have to get free and then can react. So, but if you just eyeball this, you could almost predict that a carbon reaction or a coal reaction, which would look something like this and be this minus this, which is about 230. I couldn't actually find the, the, heat, the heat generated from a C um, carbon and oxygen reaction, but I did get these two. Now, if we take the ratio of heat to CO2, this is putting out one CO2, 230, and this is putting out 800 per CO2. Once again, this is being unfair to coal because we're not calculating the energy needed to break the hydrogens free from this bond. So when I read about natural gas in the literature, they say on average it is twice the heat per CO2 is about 2 to 1. So that means this, this guy somehow, that, that means about 170 must be in here to get this free. So that would mean that this guy would have about 400. Um, so these are the reactions. This is the basic reaction of natural gas. 90% of natural gas is methane right here. And the thing that, another thing that pops out of this is hydrogen cars. If you go and look at the energy needed to take water and pull it back to uh, hydrogen, it's a huge number. So you, one, to produce a hydrogen here, 
you can divide this this 570 by 4 which is about 150 but there's a lot of heat a lot of energy needed to pull to break water apart which is how you make hydrogen and which is the most obvious way to make hydrogen instead of using natural gas so hydrogen is tightly bonded with oxygen let's just take a look at the three guys that are in all of this here you have methane look at all the hydrogens that are around it all the all the white ones you have carbon dioxide with the atoms far apart this is in a very low energy state so except for photosynthesis which is plants and sunlight and water this guy is not put back together and water with these two hydrogens next to oxygen very low energy state doesn't want to go back into hydrogen so these are the guys this is the guy of global warming water isn't a problem it just goes up in the atmosphere and falls down as rain um, so these two guys are the outputs of this reaction and I don't have oxygen oh here's here's oxygen laying around so methane methane plus oxygen to these very low energy state carbon dioxide and water and the pivot to why methane the pivot the key methane or natural gas natural gas has got a high hydrogen high hydrogen count ratio high, high hydrogen natural gas has high hydrogen levels and coal does not because it's mostly made of carbon so this is the key to why global warming people want us to build hot new natural gas power plants because anything we can do in the short run to try to do something about global warming or climate change we're going to try to take advantage of now i've looked at um, people that talk about global warming and they say that it reacts in uh, like a 500 uh, year time constant which means the, Im the impact of what we're doing it, this really isn't going to make much of a difference because it takes so much so long for it to um, to have an effect and we're going to eventually burn the carbon as soon as the natural gas is done so um, just saying that this really isn't a great solution but it feels good and you can talk about it in um, you can put these numbers up and put it in front of a politician and it, it, it adds up it is true and um, but I'm not I'm not well, I don't I don't just do backflips because of this so that's natural gas versus coal and the reason the numbers the reactions and why natural gas says it's clean that's it talk to you later